Bonjour Genie Engineers! In this video, I'm going to share with you guys the difference between the old FE Civil Manual and the newest version. Somebody has asked me this question before and I want to help you guys decide which book you should get. Now, if you're here for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. Okay guys, so we're going to discuss the three changes. So we have concepts, examples, and diagnostic problems. See, for the examples and the concepts, there were some minor changes in the following subjects. So we have statistics, hydrology, geotechnical engineering, mechanics of materials, materials, and transportation. And for the majority of the time, he only added like one or two sections, except for hydrology, he added four sections. And for the examples, he added like one or two examples per section. So there weren't really major changes. Now, for those of you who already bought the oldest version of the book and you're afraid that you're missing out, I will make sure that I'll post these changes on Patreon so that you don't have to spend extra money to buy the newest version. For the diagnostic problems on the newest book, he actually removed those. And I was first a little bit disappointed, but then I saw on the first page, there's the access code, um, that code usually you can access it online and you get to see those problems and the practice problems. But the problem with that is if you get a used book, like I did, you wouldn't be able to access it. So you need to actually buy a, a new book so that you can access it. And usually that costs a lot more money. And so that's why I'm not really sure if it's a good idea to get the newest book because the oldest one has already those diagnostic problems and I found those problems were actually very helpful when I was studying for my FE exam. See, I took my test a year ago and looking at the new book today, I look at it and I don't think back then if I bought the new book would have had an enormous effect on uh, my test. Obviously, I was able to pass it just with the old book and I think there were no major changes where I would uh, think it's worth spending that extra money. This is just my honest opinion and I hope I helped you decide which book you should get. Okay guys, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below and I will make sure to address it in the future. Remember, a lot of these questions that I cover here, it's because people have asked me in the past. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. À la prochaine!